And, and Jerry comes out. And this is part of an organized presentation uh, that the chair has agreed to of 15 minutes. Uh, I think it is an appropriate time for all of us to say thank you to a great labor leader who has been a great partner and a great friend of the Port of San Diego. As I'm sure everybody knows, Jerry is moving on to other pastures come uh, the end of the year. But he has been a great friend of, of the Port of San Diego. Uh, together we uh, brought Dole here. Uh, and it was with Labor's help. They have been our partner in so many issues uh, over the past uh, nine years that I have been here. So Jerry, on, on behalf of all of us, we appreciate all you've done. And we appreciate that you've always been there for us at each turn of the road. And, and it's been a successful and wonderful relationship. And we all want to thank you. Thank you for the time this morning. Uh, I stand before you because I think we have a serious situation going on at our port. We have members of the uh, Longshoremen's Union, Local 29, who have worked at Harborside Refrigerated Warehouse and have been on strike since November 26th, uh, keeping the picket line manned 24-7. The Harborside workers walked out because they believe the company is dragging their feet in contract negotiations. We've been in bargaining for a year and a half. They also walked out because they lost a well-liked and respected co-worker, Ephraim Montez Sr. <coughs> Brother Montez died with no benefits after giving seven years of hard work to Harborside. This is a strike over the kind of jobs we wanted to see at our port. The AFL-CIO, as Steve just mentioned, partnered with the port and worked very closely to bring Dole. In that deal, a lot of us made commitments. The port made commitments, Dole made commitments, and on behalf of organized labor, I made commitments. But there were also commitments made by the, worker, the employers that would benefit from the commitments that we made. One of those employers has never lived up to their commitment, and that is Harborside. So after a year and a half, finally we couldn't get Harborside to live up to that commitment, and we had to go on strike. But to date, Harborside still has not lived up to their commitment. The port has invested millions in the Dole Terminal. Harborside benefits from this investment but it is not providing the kind of jobs we need in the port. I'm going to let a few of the workers from Harborside tell you firsthand about the kind of games that are played at Harborside with their hours and their benefits. Then you have a clear chance to hear from the family that lost Mr. Montes. With that, I'd like to invite up R.J. Washburn to speak to you first.